Hi guys, I'm Shlomik from Job Test Prep, and in this video we're going to talk about the Thomas International GIA test, what the test looks like, its main challenges, and how to best prepare to succeed. Let's go! The Thomas GIA test is a speed test that measures your ability to quickly learn, comprehend, and retain information. It is very short, 12 to 16 minutes, but contains approximately 150 questions. That means around 5 to 6 seconds per question. Here's a GIA question for you. And it's gone. Here's another one. Ready? Poof! It isn't there anymore. If you manage to solve these in 5 seconds, well done. But think about 30 or 40 such questions, one after another, 5 seconds each. That's quite a challenge. Now the questions on the real test aren't really going to disappear within 5 seconds. But practically speaking, that's all the time you've got. The questions on the GIA test deal with five different topics. But unlike other tests, on the GIA, all the questions on each section will look exactly the same. That particular feature has one crucial benefit for you as a test taker. And that is, practice is effective. If you practice right, you have really good chances to significantly increase your score. I'll talk more about that near the end of the video. Let's talk a bit about what makes the GIA so challenging. As I've mentioned before, the GIA test is just super fast. To score high, you have to maintain maximum focus throughout each and every section and answer the questions correctly without spending too much time. Each section on the test will welcome you with a massive block of text explaining just how you're supposed to solve the problems. That will mostly be a very specific, sometimes rather counterintuitive manner. That makes these simple questions much more difficult overall. Five subjects on the GIA cover all the cornerstones of psychometric testing. Verbal, numerical, spatial, and logical reasoning. No one person excels in all of them, so you are bound to have your general score reduced by at least one section. Now, after I've scared you a bit, let's talk a bit about how you can practice properly and overcome these challenges. It is extremely important to practice with the exact type of questions you'll encounter on the actual GIA. That way, you'll have your mind set and prepared for the task, which will increase both accuracy and speed. You will also develop some solving techniques that will work best for you. Learning the GIA instructions beforehand, combined with constant practice, will get your solving process automatic, so you hardly need to think when solving. That will, again, increase both your accuracy and speed. Knowledge of your weak areas is a critical thing on the GIA test. Weak on numbers? The number speed section will probably hurt your score the most. Put it on top priority. Then move on to strengthen other subjects based on your personal abilities. At Job Test Prep, we've created a Thomas GIA preparation pack that is both tailored for the exam, contains full length simulations of the actual test, and will allow you to understand what your weak spots are. Want to learn more? Check out our webpage for more info, sample questions, and a free sample test to give you the feeling for the real thing. Well, that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed and learned. Now it's your turn to practice. Good luck.